okay, so this section of the lesson is to show you how you can use pencil colors and twisties. Okay, my very first suggestion is cut your paper in half. All right, so if you've got a big piece of paper like this, it is going to take you forever and you're going to get tired. So what you do is you get a little piece of paper. I've got the watercolor notebook here just to show size. Cut your paper in half to make it A5. It's a lot easier to do drawings and pictures on A5. It takes less time. Maybe let's go through to here. Here's a piece of paper. Okay. Now, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing the impressionist technique. So what I did with grade five is we did this impressionist duck. Okay. And I showed them how to do this in pencil colors and twisties. So I'm going to put that part of the lesson into here, just so you can see how you use your twisty, how you can use your pencil colors to create the same effect. Once you've done that, I'm gonna show you the next step using this little piece of paper. Okay, and I think I'll do mine in twisty today. This section is to help you see how to use the different media that you might have at home. I know we're all at home and we all have different things available to us, and that's absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do in this part is I'm going to show you how you can create a similar sort of effect using different media. Twisties. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do my twisties in this one in the corner. So this towel is for my, when I'm painting, so I'm moving it just for now. Right. What you're going to do is the impressionists didn't just color the background one solid color. What they would do is they would start by doing brush strokes. So we're going to imitate brush strokes with our twisties. I'm going to just fill in this box using twisties and then we're going to use different media in different boxes just to help us um, with our artwork today. So these are all our backgrounds. If you're using twisties, I don't mind if you um, cut the paper. It might be a bit easier because this might take a little bit of time. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just um, creating little like almost rectangles of color and then I am adding them in to add balance. Okay, so balance is when a picture looks um, complete. So it's nice to have yellow here, yellow here. And I might actually add a little bit of yellow in here as well. Okay, so I'm gonna time lapse this and then we'll move on to the next media. So this is what it looks like. It looks cool. It looks like the sunset is being reflected. And then over here, I tried something different and I really like it. So what I did is I painted and I dabbed this textured towel, this little paper towel on it, and it gave that beautiful texture, which I really like. So boys, never be afraid to experiment. We can learn something new every time. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you watercolor. Okay, so we're gonna start with our lightest color first again. So our lightest color is yellow. Okay, so we're gonna use yellow and we're just gonna do sections of yellow like before. And I'm gonna add a bit of white because white tends to brighten up a picture. Okay, it adds a different dynamic, it makes it a bit brighter and that is what the Impressionist style is, bright and beautiful. So that's what we are doing today. I'm gonna add in my red without even washing my brush. So here we go, adding in my red. Look at that, so you see the white makes it a little bit more pale, which is very cool. So add in your reds, maybe like, let's join it up like that maybe. Okay, now I'm gonna add a bit more yellow. Now we're gonna add in some green. Okay, now green and red are complementary colors and they will create a sort of brownie color if you mix them together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to wash my brush and I'm going to then add in my green into this picture. Okay, so because my box is so small, I won't be able to fit so many colors. So maybe let me add a bit of blue and then a little bit of green um, just because of the space and red and blue will mix nicely together. Red and blue mix purple. Okay. That. all the different colors that come up and you'll discover so many beautiful colors you know in class when we mix our colors together and then at the end we can all squish them all together and see what they make this is a really cool exercise for figuring out the color mixing as well as painting okay let me get my green add 
adding a bit of green in here. So this pond looks like it's either reflecting the sun or maybe um, the, or the sunset or maybe some beautiful flowers. And it's really cool, you can play around. And the nice thing about it is that nobody's will be the same because everybody is doing something, um, is mixing their own colors and making their own thing. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna add a little bit more green. Here we are, this is our watercolor. This is my watercolor experiment and this is my um, twisty. Now we're going to do our um, pencil crayon. So I am going to just do the similar thing with the twisty. I'm gonna add in my reds. Um, the thing about pencil colors is that it is a lot lighter, so you're gonna to have to press a lot harder. And I would suggest you cut your paper for this one as well, just because it will take quite a long time and it's not as quick and easy as watercolor. The nice thing about watercolor is that it shows how the impressionist will just blend on the paper as opposed to mixing in your palette. Um, so at least you get to see that today. And when we get back to class, I'm going to teach you how to use acrylic paint. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just do a time-lapse of me doing this and then we will move on. Okay, so this is what this all looks like now. You can see the beautiful different things. Even pencil crayon is pretty. I mean, it is different, um, but it does have such a beautiful effect. And I think it's the colors. The impressionists were so good at using colors. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our paper, fold it in half, exactly like we did when we are showing you the painting demonstration. You need to draw your sailing boat first because our sailing boat is going to be, we're not gonna paint it straight on, we don't have paint. So we're just gonna go down, draw our basic sailing boat. It doesn't have to be perfect. Draw your sailing boat. Draw a sailing boat like that. And then you add in your horizon line behind it. Okay, just to make it easier for us. Also where our trees are gonna be, you're gonna draw that line in too. And we'll add our reflection underneath. And here is our land in the background. Okay, cool, so that's that done. Now that you know how to start, I'm gonna show you basically how to um, color in your sky in the impressionist style. So, like the brush strokes, we're going to do dabs of paint, but we don't have paint, so we're gonna use our twisty to imitate the paint. Right, so we're gonna do blocks of color like this. And you're gonna leave bits white. Okay, this is the only time that I would suggest you leave things white. You're not blending, you're just adding blocks of color. So it's more like coloring rectangles, all right, nice down to there. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do for the whole sky. I think rather than me doing the entire thing, I'm going to now do a time-lapse and show you. colors you can get the different reflections and it does look pretty cool it is a nice contrast and at home we just do the best with what we have and I am marking you based on your effort okay so boys I hope you have a lovely day and enjoy the lesson